Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, today I'm going to introduce you our uh, tool, Malware Config Parser. Uh, it's a lightweight malware configuration parsing tool uh, because uh, we, uh, as a malware researcher, we do reverse engineering every day, every day. So the design purpose of this tool is to make uh, uh, malware researcher or incident response people lives more easier so they could yeah, have more time to spend with their family. Yeah. So uh, here's the uh, speaker list. Uh, I'm Charles. I'm the chief analyst of Team T5. And uh, uh, this is YCY and this is Doc. Uh, both of them are uh, malware researcher, and we do um, uh, malware reversing, we do campaign tracking, we track a uh, threat actor around the world. Uh, that's our uh, daily life. And uh, uh, we are from Team T5. Uh, Team T5 is a, a threat intelligence company based in Taiwan. Yeah, and uh, we have uh, more than uh, 60 clients in Asia Pacific region, including uh, MSSP, government, telecom, uh, cyber in three intelligence firm, accounting, semiconductor, uh, international trading company, all of them are our customer. And uh, uh, compared with uh, other uh, US vendors, uh, the most uh, unique part of Team T5 is uh, we start from APEC and we speak for APEC. We believe we are guardian of APEC and uh, we are very confident about our uh, threat visibility in this region. And uh, uh, Team T5 are interested in tracking uh, cyber threat actors around the world. Yeah. So here's the agenda for today. Uh, so yeah, uh, because we uh, track for uh, uh, track for uh, threats in the Asia Pacific. So in the following uh, demonstration, we will uh, show some uh, threats that uh, that that malware that's actually uh, targeting a, uh, Asia Pacific. So here's the agenda. We are going to uh, show that. Uh, first, uh, what is a uh, malware config parser, and uh, why we design this um, why we design this um, tool, and then tell about the architecture design, and then we will have a demo. So first, uh, what is malware config parser, and malware config parser, and it's uh, we uh, introduce Yara, and also I, I guess. Uh, most of people is familiar with Yara, and the second is uh, Kaitai. Kaitai is a binary uh, format parser tool, and uh, we use this to uh, parse uh, configuration malware. And also, uh, um, we we right now we use uh, malware config parser to support Cuckoo Sandbox and possibly other uh, malware detection products and can use our tool to uh, extract the uh, configuration and because uh, this will be uh, open source in uh, will be open source so and everyone can access it so in uh, uh, for we I would like to uh, sh first quick uh, show this uh, Scenario for real quick because this is a memory dump scan of a malware config parser. So uh, simply, this is a malware that's uh, called uh, let's call plot X, and this is a variant from uh, a group that we track it as a Polaris. Polaris is uh, in its its public name is uh, called Mustang Panda. Is from I guess it's a from Crossrise name, and we already tracked Polaris since uh, 2013, and so and this is a recent uh, new uh, plot X they use. So in this memory scan, uh, memory dump scan scenario, let me show. After I click the malware here, and then the process start. It's on stack up. Exe. And I'll do a, a, a dump file on this process. And let me switch to a console. I will do a scan on this memory block. 
And here we see uh, the malware here, uh, uh, it's, its install name and its uh, uh, C2 server is shown in a, a console. So uh, there's another scenario that we always encounter. So uh, the left side is a console, uh, the con console, and the right side is uh, uh, VMware. So in the uh, uh, VMware, we have our malware here. As we click, we can see there's a new process in the TCP view. Here's a new connection, and the uh, PID is here. And then we switch to a console and input the process ID here. Then the configuration is tracked. So you will see there's uh, two, uh, that actually is configured uh, two CNC server here, but actually, uh, and with different ports, and also it's mutex it's here. So in the second part, we are going to uh, talk about the challenges we were faced and why we designed this uh, this tool. So here is uh, Qua X. Uh, this is a variant. Uh, we we called it uh, OX. 36A4 is actually the configuration size of this plot X. And we do a string on its loader. And in the left side, and here is a um, plot X loader. Uh, it's from APT20, we tracked in 2015. And it's a string, it's like this. And also, uh, and it, uh, a year before, after, and in 2000, 2016, and there's another uh, malware. Uh, there's another plot X that, that actually is the same variant of plot X, but from different group called Dragon OK. And you, you can clearly see that the two uh, the two uh, strings of is very very different. And we move to on the third the third one that we track it at as actually monk this, this is actually another uh, public group and we track it this uh, plot X in uh, 2017 and the strings is look like very different from the previous two one let me switch to the left side three of them are quite different so it's it's very hard for us that if we encounter a new plot X and we do a a new description or new decoding method for each uh, different uh, uh, lo loader is uh, it's really waste our time. So, but because we, when we switch to a, um, a situation in the memory, you will see the memory actually actually the same. So we decide to uh, do it in the in the memory. And here is another uh, uh, challenge we we face that is. Uh, when, we, uh, we know there's a, a tool that uses volatility to uh, down to uh, extract the configuration, but uh, mostly we work this in a lab environment. We only focus on a single process. And uh, if we would like to uh, down the whole um, virtual machine's memory, it needs four gigabytes for a single process. It's uh, really we, we feel headache on. On it, so yeah, that's why we designed uh, this uh, malware con malware config parser. Okay, uh, I'm going to introduce its architecture in the uh, uh, next part. And so, how does it work? So first, you need a virtual machine to run the malware, and after you identify the malware uh, uh, process. Uh, you can manually uh, dump its uh, process memory and or uh, pick the PID number uh, to the to our tool. And our malware configure parser will uh, detect the malware type and pass the configure into a uh, plain text. Uh, next, uh, inside the malware configure parser, uh, we 
use Yara, the uh, famous signature scanner, to detect how the malware type it is. And for the parsing phase, uh, in, in the parsing phase, we use Kai Tai. Kai Tai is a, a data structure framework, and it can be uh, uh, defined uh, many uh, many structure like file header and network packer and so on. So uh, the Kai Tai is a YAML based. So uh, you can use its online IDE for activity uh, to edit the configure easily. And uh, in the parsing function, uh, if proof proof us to pass uh, the config, if the configuration is not in a fixed position, and you can build your own uh, value <coughs> function to wait the configuration is correct or not. Uh, like use uh, the hosting domain or uh, C2 service and IP or not. And if the configuration in the memory is still encrypted, you can uh, you you can define your decode function to handle ha to handle it. Uh, next, uh, how the it uh, integrate with the Cuckoo Sand bus uh, in the uh, Gas machine, if the malware process is be created, its memory dump will be dumped uh, using the analyzer. Uh, analyzer will dump its memory into the host machine. Okay, so in the host machine, in the uh, process memory state, our tool will detect the malware type and parse it. You can see the result in the web server interface. Okay, uh, next is the demo time. Yeah, we are going to demo. Uh, we integrate uh, this tool into Google Sandbox and also uh, our, our company's product, it's called Grisona. So, uh, in, in this part, uh, we work, uh, how you work, work with Google. And first in the web server, just submit the file and this malware is called uh, water bear it's a uh, uh, malware that from uh, a adversary called a uh, fleet or blood tag and this uh, this group uh, usually uh, targeted uh, Taiwan and Japan a lot and so we use this uh, malware as an example So the uh, sandbox running, after it running, we'll see this, there's a, a new uh, tab that's called malware config parser. After we click on it, then the uh, configuration is extracted. Then we can see its pattern and also C2 server and it's mutex and it's version. And let's move on uh, another scenario. That's, uh, we, we would like to show this because uh, it's possible that everyone's uh, malware detection product they can uh, use our uh, tool and to provide uh, further information on the threats. So let's start the malware. And also, uh, uh, scan by Stray Sona. And mm, then move here. And this is a dashboard of Stray Sona. It will show uh, the uh, threads on, on this uh, environment. And the scan. It's scan that there's a level one uh, malware in. Uh, Level one, uh, level five thread here, and here is a, a thread with this in this environment, and we got a level five thread here, and then here is a, a detection, and it's a water bear. Then we move to the uh, this part, its configuration.
configuration of this water bear. Yeah, so. In, in, in summary, uh, yeah, uh, Three Sona is uh, one of Team T5 commercial product, and uh, uh, in the previous demo, we showed that we integrate uh, it uh, with the malware config parser to extract uh, a malware config uh, information automatically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And here's uh, the way you can uh, use this uh, malware config parser and yeah here's the URL you can scan by a uh, QR code and yeah thank, thank you for your attention and we're from Team T5 and yeah if you have any question you can uh, come here and ask us.